So you need some square woven wire mesh, but what exactly is it? What types are there? In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi, my name is Eric Himes, and I'm the sales manager for Industrial Woven Wire here at WS Tyler. It's important to understand that there's a lot of different types of wire mesh, all designed to feature their own specific beneficial qualities. This includes the standard weave of square mesh and the more complex weave types such as filter mesh. But that said, what exactly is a square mesh? Here at WS Tyler, we've proudly manufactured and supplied dependable woven wire mesh solutions for over 150 years. And we're here to ensure you know everything you need to know to make the most out of your wire mesh. So in this video, we'll go over what square mesh is, the types of square mesh, the form factors of square mesh, how to select the right alloy, and the information you should provide mesh suppliers. Woven wire mesh is a series of metallic wires that are methodically arranged after undergoing a weaving process. This process works to create mesh openings that are both precise and rigid. Having said that, in order for a piece of wire mesh to be considered square mesh, the warp and weft wire must share identical wire diameters. In the world of wire mesh, there's three primary types of square mesh, plain weave, inner crimped, and pre-crimped. A plain weave is typically a 10 mesh or finer. If its specification is supposed to be coarser than 3 fourths of an inch, with wires as heavy as 148 inches, the mesh can be applied to applications that don't require a pre-crimped mesh. Inner crimped mesh has twice the amount of crimps in both the warp and shoot direction as the standard double crimp weave. This helps prevent the wires from sifting, making it ideal for applications that rely on open area of the mesh. Pre-crimped mesh is woven to a much tighter tolerance than a plain weave and is designed to have an accurate opening. Since the crimps help maintain the exact size of the mesh pores, pre-crimped mesh is typically used in applications where pore size is key, like for vibrating screen sections. Since there's a lot of different square mesh weave types out there, if you click the link in the description for the article version of this video, you'll find several of 3D models of square mesh weaves, including twilled weaves, crimped screen types, top screens, and welded screens, just to name a few. When purchasing square mesh, there's three main factors that affect the way you buy mesh rolls. These factors are roll length, cloth width, and cut to size pieces. Standard rolls of square mesh are typically 100 feet in length. Half rolls are also available in either 41 feet or 49 feet in length, but partial lengths can also be purchased. And it's important to note that these lengths can vary plus or minus 10%. With that said though, the invoice you receive will reflect the length that is delivered. Mesh rolls come in standard widths of 36, 48, 60, and 72 inches, but the width of rolled mesh cannot fall short of the nominal width, but it can exceed it by 2%. If you're seeking to purchase strips of square mesh, you'll need to designate the width you want. The length of square mesh strips can also be cut based on your requirements if quantities less than standard rolls are requested. And if cut to size pieces are being requested, you must include all parameters of the piece. This includes the sizes, lengths, angles, and radii. There's two main factors you must take into consideration when specifying what alloy to use. The most significant is how the mesh will be applied in your operation and the overall requirements of the mesh. You'll want to ensure you select an alloy that can withstand any corrosive elements it may be subjected to while accommodating any standards or regulations put in place by your industry. And you must also be mindful of any value added services like forming, welding, and surface treatment. This is because not all alloys are suitable for post weaving processes. Like for example, certain alloys are known to be kinder to the welding process as they absorb heat. The buying process typically starts with you reaching out to the mesh supplier with the specifications of the mesh. The supplier's engineering team will then determine if the mesh is practical to be produced. If it is, then you'll receive a quote. If the mesh is not practical for the application you intended to use it for, 
The engineering team will work with you to find specifications that will deliver the best possible results for your operation. That said, to best facilitate the buying process, you should have the following information ready when reaching out to the mesh supplier. And for any repeat orders with WS Tyler, if you can provide us with the sales order or the label that came on the mesh, it will help expedite the ordering process for you. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, fill out the contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Eric Himes and I'll be seeing you around in the next video. Bye for now.